Uh, I'm Michael Anton. And I'm John O'Donnell. And we don't have great taste, but we know it tastes good. And what tastes good right now is what's coming out of Southwest Louisiana. We're making some fantastic coffee, rum, vodka, and beer, like here at Cried Eagle Brewing. Let's go drink some. Cheers. They probably shouldn't let me behind the bar here at Crying Eagle, but they have. We're here with Joel, who's making some of this great beer. Joel, you know, I, I know what I like, but why is it that what I like here at Crying Eagle tastes so good? If you want freshness, no chemical additions, you know, um, the freshest product possible, then local is the way. And I think that's an important point. The beer is alive. I mean, there, right. there's yeast in this. I mean, it's a, right. this is a living thing. Yeah, right? it changes over time. Okay? Yeah, that's so right. The fresher yeah. you're getting your beer, you know, the more kind of bright that profile is going to be. Right. Right? right. You know, what I love about the tap room here at Crying Eagle is that everybody's coming here for this incredible yeah, beer. We've got something for everybody, and that's what brings right. in this incredible diversity to the tap room, and that's why you're able to make so many, so many different friends, right? I've actually made a lot of friends in this room, including a lot of people at this table, and every time I've had a beer here, it has been wonderful. I love coming to Rick and Jack's. Number one, you've got all the locally brewed beers. People love the craft beer selection, and when they ask us for something, when we hear enough enough wordplay about a beer that we're not familiar with we get it and with nine taps we can run stuff all all the time we can, you might have a beer today that you won't have in three days but it might be back three days later because we're just gonna rotate that stuff out and, and make it fresh and exciting when people ask for a vodka or rum drink do they ask for local vodka and rum a lot of times they do and which is great because you got the Bayou Rum Distillery in Lacassine and we have Yellowfin right there in Sulphur here it comes oh man Yes. Wow. Thank you, man. That looks great. You know, there's just something cool about being here at Blue Dog Cafe, you know, in Southwest Louisiana, eating shrimp that came from right. the Gulf, like less than an hour away. Right. We're drinking Crying Eagle beer that came from 15 minutes away. I can walk into any restaurant in town, any restaurant downtown, and I can find Gulf shrimp. I can find Crying Eagle beer. I can find yellowfin vodka that's made over in sulfur. Bayou rum is everywhere. You know, after a long night of drinking local spirits and local brews in downtown uh, Lake Charles, you can come to the Beckery here or any of the other local coffee places and get a Cadiana Coffee Roasters. They're making this coffee, it's organic coffee, they make it here in Lake Charles. Having it made locally is just, just leads to that incredible taste that you're getting right now. I love that we're able to serve a product that's brewed here locally in Lake Charles and that we have a personal relationship with the brewers ourselves. And I mean, people in tap rooms are always just having a good time, right? Yeah. And that's kind of the thing about brewery culture. It's just, um, it's pretty positive. Hey, thank you all very much for hanging out with us today. We're ending our night here at Rick and Jack's. It's a brewery, it's a restaurant, it's got a wonderful outdoor venue with music playing, and it's a great place to enjoy some time with your friends. Yeah, you know, everything that we've talked about today, local beer, local rum, local vodka, local coffee, you can get in some of the great local restaurants here in Southwest Louisiana, like Rick and Jack's, and you can also sit outside and enjoy some great local music. So, cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers.